today i am going to share with you an easy way to check the answer sheets in a google classroom in my previous video i shared with you how you can easily check the answer sheets when you are working from a mobile now today in this video i will be using a chrome extension which you can uh, add on in your laptop or in the desktop in which you are working right so here let us have a tour so the extension which we are going to explore today is text help pdf reader i am repeating the name text help pdf reader it is a chrome extension and you can download it or add to chrome from the link which has been provided over here so when you search text help pdf reader on google you will get this website link so click on this link and you will reach to the google chrome web store and in this chrome web store you will find this extension text help pdf reader this is offered by pdf.texthelp.com now on the right side you will see add to chrome so click on add to chrome and when you click on add to chrome then on the top of your browser you will see where the extensions are getting getting added you will see this icon pdf so this is pdf reader which is added now what you have to do before moving on to the google classroom because all your assignments and answer sheets would be coming in the google classroom so before going there you need to make certain settings so what all you have to do is first manage your chrome extension so click on this icon and when you click on this icon now go to the text help pdf reader on the right side you will see three dots click on that and then in the options you will see certain settings now what you have to do is basically you need to enable classroom integration in this text help pdf reader so you can see here what i have done is show previous position of pdf upon load it is checked in and then open web pdf it is also checked in then enable classroom integration this i am talking about uh, this this should be checked in okay so these are the settings which we have to do now after that before going to the google classroom you need to give permissions to the pdf text reader to access your gc so when you log in to your official school id and uh, access your google classroom and then this uh, extension then it will ask permission like from for which account uh, you wish to use this particular application so give access to the google classroom and then open the assignment so when you open the assignment what you will see is you will see this toolbar on the top and in this toolbar very effective tools are available so i am going to now share with you the utility of these tools which are quite easy to use and handy so let let me take you to one of the assignment which has been submitted by the child in the google classroom so let us explore these tools so first one which i want to show you is this nib pen it is a free hand drawing so click on this and then you can see when you click on this particular nib pen and then you will see you can annotate on the document which has been uploaded by the child in the pdf form so this is the free hand see i can put a tick mark and then i can give the marks 
and interestingly you will see there is a line color available you can change the pen color and give the marks if you wish to highlight something put circle arrow you can write the comments right so this is the utility of this freehand drawing tool now i am going to take your attention to typewriter this tool i really really love the most because when you click on this and select basically you need to select this and go anywhere in the document uh, let me take you to some other place then this box will appear you can type the text right this is one way i am coming to the next way i don't want to type anything but uh, you see there is a tool over here you can take it to any of the place on this document say for example i wish to write here there is a tool over here called talk and type let us explore this click on talk and type Hello Anya this is very nice Dear students I think in this linear equation it would be nice if you multiply see So this is how you can make uh, effective use of the typewriter tool now I am taking your attention to screen mask say for example i am discussing one assignment in the classroom so how useful this screen mask is wherever you will go it will put high light so see it is putting light on this area so wherever you will go you can use the text box right anywhere okay i don't want this text to be written over here put a delete come back i don't want this text to be here you can delete it come back i don't want this arrow to be here you can delete it i don't want this you can delete it see it is so simple okay so i uh, now i don't want this uh, to work so what i will do click on this computer button so this is normal now another interesting feature over here is this is click to speech speak then dictionary is there picture dictionary is also there that works in the documents here it is a pdf that works in the document so when you click on picture dictionary so no word is selected you need to select the uh, word that works in the typed google docs if the google docs are there so you can make effective use of the other tools which are available over here so right now i am focusing on like how you can do checking of the assignments and worksheets or answer sheets which are submitted by the students in the google classroom
now after checking what you have to do is you have to click add on marks like you do earlier and then return the assignment i hope uh, this tool will help you in making teaching learning more effective and checking process easier have a nice day bye bye